I don't know what I'm gonna drink yet. If I should yeah. just drink, because I was, I was nauseous before. Oh. Um, so that's why I've been sick and homeless because I threw up a bunch over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if I should just drink a Gatorade, or if I should try a beer. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah. Cause. Hmm. How close is the trash can to you? Uh, the bathroom's out, out of the hallway to the left. Oh. Can you make it That's... down that way? <laughs> yeah, usually I can tell when I'm going to throw up before I throw up. Like, I haven't had, like, a throw up, like, accident since I was a kid. Like, yeah. now whenever I have to puke, I'm like, I'm going to throw up. It's going to happen now. Jeez. And then I'll, like, pull over on the side of the road or, you know, get out of bed, go to the bathroom. Like, I don't need, like, a throw up bowl anymore. That's good. I just try not to throw up. Like, I hold it. I'm like... Mm. Yeah. Tyler's the same I, way. If I feel like I'm going to throw up, I'm going to feel that way until I throw up. That's what I know. So, it doesn't go away. Same. Oh, so, right. no. I have to just, like, all right, time to go throw up now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's always fun. Hello, everybody. Welcome Hi. to an episode in the 40s of Beers Per Minute. I'm Mick Pettit. With me, as always, Devin Lopez and Calvin Mile. Yo, yo. Hi. How is everybody this week? Pretty good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Didn't, didn't have to work today, but that's because I'm sick. Oh, I was just gonna say they just gave, just gave you the day off. Just said, you yeah, know what, you deserve you know, it. Just sometimes yeah. they're nice like that. That's no, I texted good. them. Texted them yesterday. I was like, "Hey, I threw up a bunch. Should I still come to work?" They're like, "No, no, <laughs> yes, probably not." You should. We actually need. You. No, my my company's really good about giving you time off if you need it. Um, it's like I hear stories about other people's jobs like w- demand them to come in when when they're sick and stuff. Like my cousin, she's got the same thing as me. And she texted her boss, being like, "Hey, like, I threw up this morning. Do you want me to come in and teach children?" And they're like, "Oh, well, you're going to doctor's note if you don't come in." I it's think like... that's the stupidest thing. <laughs> I mean, I can understand for certain things, yes. Like if someone who calls in all the time, I'm like, "Come on, you're yeah." You're not well, I you I pull, think you're pulling. Time. I feel like it's like a week. Like if you're out for a week or something. And you're like you're not providing updates, you're not being cooperative, you're not talking to your to your boss. Then yeah, sure, prove that you're sick. But like, you threw up. You know, we, we, you take a picture of the vomit and send that to your boss. Be like, hey, look, I promise you, like this came out of my body. <laughs> like, why do you have to pose next to it? <laughs> like two days afterwards. Yeah, I mean, why don't you just write your own doctor's note? I mean, what what is a doctor's Honestly, note? Do they have a specific work form that they give? That's to people? the thing. Is I told no, her, it's a piece. I of told paper. her you could probably get one online easily. <laughs> There's probably even like a a medical service for that, like a doctor that will just like write doctor's notes for you mm, virtually. I'm sure. I'm sure that's already a thing. You know, twenty five, thirty bucks. Probably cheaper than that. Even I mean, it's like it probably has like a a copy paste thing he just puts in your name and emails it to you like i don't <laughs> for, for is that the same doctor that writes prescriptions for people of narcotics probably or uh, okay cool i just want to make sure not, it's the same guy i don't know if i do the nar- narcotics he might be the the other guy he'll, he'll get you the, oh, okay. the other Got prescription it. i mean i know it's really easy Got to get it. viagra online like super oh. easy yeah i mean it's an epidemic, man. Blue, blue chews, you know? man. Just go put in the, the code somewhere and get some blue chews. Have some, <laughs> have some fun with that, guys. We're not sponsored by them yet. <laughs> no, I want to be, though. We should be. We really we need should to be, be sponsored by blue chews. I think so. We should reach out to, like, all of the male enhancement and, like, ED things. Because, you know, guys. Roman, hymns. I mean, there's a lot that we could go right? for. Because, I mean, it's a, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's an epidemic. I don't, don't want to be sponsored for years. Like that. What? Calvin's talked to me about it a lot. That that's something that he deals with a lot, and we need to we need to bring more awareness you know, to it. I don't feel like we talk about that enough. Sometimes. That's not been a thing that I've said. <laughs> it happens, you know. So what it, are we drinking tonight, we, we boys? All, we all deal with it. <laughs> what, what you... 
I have some bullet whiskey. Bullet bourbon. Bourbon. I don't. Is it? Is it pronounced bullet? Yeah. Bullet bourbon. Yeah. Because it's spelled weird. Bourbon. Is it spelled belay? How do you spell it? Isn't it spelled B U L L I E T? It's bullet. Is yeah. it bullet? That's how you pronounce it. It's bullet. bullet. Oh yeah, there's a, there's an I F T E. I didn't even yeah. know that. I was just I saw a bullet on it. <laughs> you skipped over. My the brain eye. did not even That's see like, the I. Did you guys see that thing about uh, if the like first letter is capitalized, it's easier to read. Like the first first or first and second letter possibly. In well, I it make, it makes for ADHD people like to like read it so yeah, easily. You, and I tried it. I'm like, oh man, this sucks. Why isn't every book like this? I'd read oh, so it's, much it's more. The first you letters capitalized. Oh, is yeah. that why people do that? I've mm-hmm. seen people type. Uh, every, mm-hmm. It pisses me off. It's because it's because I don't, way I don't like it. Read. Interesting. Because <laughs> it, it brings your awareness to the letter. Because you're we're reading so fast that it's our brains aren't working right. That's I never knew that. I've seen people do it before. It always made me angry, but now I know why. <laughs> Awesome. So I I went and I got myself something new besides this sweet hat. Um, I went down to North Jetty Don't bring today. To it. it better be me down in no. It's not me. It's not me actually. It's not me. But it Why is wearing a Viking it ha- helmet because <laughs> it's got a pirate on it. Pirates and Vikings are not the same thing. No, they both have ships though. I'm you 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 know you can't tell me Stop that there it. was not so a do pirate. aliens, yeah. but like they're not all the not, same. Yo, grab one of these and was sailing around with all of his shipmates being like, look at this idiot. What's he doing with this no. stupid piece of Viking garbage? He's going to die. First of all, nobody wore that. Vikings didn't even wear those. Right. That's why the one idiot on the boat. That's what Our I'm resident about. white person Viking expert. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is Bone Shaker uh, IPA. Indian India Pale Bone Ale. Bone Shaker. Yep, 7.9%. It's one of their new ones. Oh, it is delicious. And cool. I figured I might as well, you know. Doom a solid and use their pint glass as well. Doom a solid. Wow. Kind of. Ooh, this thing is tippity topped too. Wait, hold on. I was debating whether or not to drink a beer or just Gatorade, um, because I was sick. But I found this <laughs> Firestone Nitro Milk Stout. So you figured that was a good in between between the Gatorade and a yeah. beer. Yeah, I found it in my back of my fridge. So nice, nice. Here, drink this. I should have looked at my glass before I poured. There was a bug. Oh, that was crisp. That was a nice one. Out of boy. Yeah. Ooh, it smells good. It smells. It almost smells kind of chocolatey. Which uh, which brewing company is it again? Firestone. Ah, that one's brewing. that one's the Firestone uh, Walker Brewing Company. Mm-hmm. Beer before delicious. glory. That says on top. I used to love their. It was a, I think it was a double IPA that they did. And it was really good. And then I one night I had one too many. Didn't bar for nothing, but it just changed it. And I was like, oh, I love oh, this beer. And I, I got to pour this into a glass. Because it's I didn't think about it. Beer back. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I gotta let my head settle in here too. I hadn't been down to the North Jetty in a while, and they got a couple, a uh, couple new ones. This is, this is a nice one because it just sneaks under at that eight percent, and it doesn't taste like it's eight percent. Yeah. Nice. Where's North Jetty from? Uh, Long Beach, Washington. Long Beach, Up here Washington. in this Pacific Northwest. Ooh, I don't have a napkin though. <gasps> I have no napkin. All right. So, what you been up to? What you been doing? What you doing? What have I been doing? Um, Back. Hey, we haven't talked in a while. We already know that he spent the weekend puking. What did I spend the weekend doing? That looks nice. good. Um, that, was, that was delicious. Checked out a new arcade in town. That was pretty fun. Ooh. Played a lot of the pod racing game. A lot. Because it was my Will favorite. Do they have a pod racing game? game? Yes. You guys have a new arcade. Yes, we do. I want Legends Arcade. Is it a uh, um, one of those ones where you can have beer and stuff while you play your games? Yep. They have a bar, and they have cup holders on every machine. Mm-hmm. Guess where we're doing the um, next episode from? 
<laughs> well, in the future. <laughs> Devin was actually yeah. just talking to me. He wants to rent out the entire building <laughs> for an event. <laughs> it's not terribly expensive, honestly. 30 people, we can rent it out, and we're going to make oh, it Oh, that's so. – oh, yeah, we easily. But yeah, it's like, what was it, 20 that's bucks a next... person? 20 bucks and a you person, get... so it comes to like 600 if I get 30 people. And you get 12 tokens? $12, 12 of tokens. Dollars. Oh, so how many tokens like... per game? Or... It's around it's between two to four per game. Okay. Um, and you get I think you get like thirty tokens. And for the twelve dollars, you get thirty. Yeah. Okay. We got forty, and we spent fifteen dollars. So I'm assuming it's somewhere okay. in the thirty range. Cool. And I did see that if you pay an extra eight dollars a person, you get a pizza and alcohol with your tokens. Yeah, which I I think is dumb because yeah. of the timing that you have to do it. You have to rent it out in like the morning, basically. Oh. So it's like. It would be like a Sunday morning, so it would just be like, I'll drink, sure. but I'm not going to eat pizza. I would eat pizza on Sunday <laughs> morning. Obscene. I mean, yeah, but still. I would do it, but I don't think you could find 30 other people that would also do it. That's I know, the thing. I know two. Yeah. Asher and, and Chris. That will drink p- beer and eat pizza on Sunday morning? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, Asher and I have done that before. Maybe. That has to be the criteria of people to invite. Is All right, you have to be okay with eating pizza and drinking beer at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. 9, 9 a.m. No, oh, yes. Because it's between 9 and 12. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That has yes. to be a requirement. Wake and bake, baby. You know, mm. just really get at it. Oh, this is delicious. I did I did have a Vice Beer uh, Mimosa Sour there in the morning. And that was – or it wasn't the morning. It was noon. But it was a very nice little brunch beer. Mm. I don't think I've crunchy. actually ever had a beer mosa. I haven't. I haven't it wasn't a beer, had mosa. A beer mosa. It was a mimosa. Sour. Oh, mimo- I thought so you said like, I yeah. thought you... No, it wasn't. No. Oh, I, I... It was vice beer. Oh, so that, okay. That was, but, but vice. Be, right. So that's where I thought you thought you meant a beer mosa. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of games do they got? But I still ne- never had a beer mosa. Have you guys? Mm-mm. I've had mm-hmm. a beer mosa. Good. Decent. Uh, they're. Wait. I mean, that's. Beer mosa is just beer and orange juice, right? Yeah, yeah that was all the time. Okay. I was thinking it was like beer and champagne. No. <laughs> what? That is the most disgusting combination. That's ever. why I was like, no, I haven't gonna, had one. Is of that going to be the beer and champagne? <laughs> is that going to be the BPM Mosa? The BP Mosa? That, well, that sounds like more of a beer Mosa to me. I don't know. You're going to do that at some no, point. No, I, ta- I think we've talked. I think we've talked about beer. That, that's how I drink IPAs, is I put orange juice in them. I mean, yeah, that makes yeah. sense yeah. because it. Um, you know it cuts the the well, bitter so, oh so okay i guess it'd be different because uh you'd have to hmm it depend on the beer to make it a beer mosa though i would think because it has to be a specific beer i think so cheap would it be would it have to be cheap i don't you would you'd not want something like we've already talked about this and like bubbly and i don't know if somebody hands me an ipa it's free for me well that right because uh, well, I'm just thinking because I had one of the ones that Wild a Man waste. had um, and mixed orange juice with it and it was really good. Like that was one of the mm. things we put with it. And it was really, but I wouldn't mm. consider that a beer mosa. I don't know. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I I I'll feel like up. I feel like it would probably be a beer mosa regardless. Just beer and OJ, right? OJ. It doesn't really matter what it is. Go and, or, go and order mean, that. The, the brass bar. monkey is malt and OJ, so. It's just like a more pal- uh, palatable beer, uh, Brass Monkey. Brass Monkey. I think it seems like the main... A funky Monkey. This says just use your favorite brass beer. Brass Monkey Donkey. The internet does. Monkey. Um, but that the main difference is the, the uh, ratios. So like this person says they like oh. to do like a two-thirds beer, one-third OJ. But then there's some people that like to just use a whole 12-ounce can of beer or just a, a splash of OJ at the top. Yeah, people do the same thing with champagne, though. That's not really a new thing. That's yeah. true. That is very true. Yeah, I think I like to do like the two thirds and then one third probably for a champagne. I, I like orangey mimosas. You like, you like those girly mimosas. Well, he, yeah, he does like them sweet drinks. I like champagne by itself, too, though. So it's. You're a sweet whatever. boy with an, at least three eyes. A sweet boy with three eyes. Sweet boy. So they had the pod racing game, which was real chill. Mm-hmm. And then they <laughs> um, 
sorry, my friend just started up World of Warcraft, and I'm making fun of him for starting it up. <laughs> um, so they had the pod racing game, which is my favorite. Um, and then they had uh, they had a ton of like fighter games, which I've never seen like that much variety of fighter games. Like they had Take- Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat, nice. which you never see all three. Of that would be fun games. to go and play fighting games against each other because I suck at technical fighting games. Marvel, so it Marvel wouldn't just be Capcom? dominated by me the whole time. They did not have Marvel vs. Capcom. Really? Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot that they did have an arcade one of that. And yeah, any they did uh, not have that one. Any like fighters that are like the buddy system like that? Uh, Streets of Rage. Uh, Streets of Rage. Or um um, fighter? the sword Soul Caliber. Yes, they did have Soul Caliber. Cool. Um, I forgot about Ivy's that my favorite. Got that freaking whip. I've never played. Oh, dude! Honestly, she's got a sword that's a whip. I've never really played a ton of uh, fighter games. Streets of of Rage is a mainly played. It's a side scrolling beat 'em up. I guess it's sort of fighting and sort of not. I didn't think it was a fighter. It's more like the TMNT and yeah, Double Dragon uh, X Men game. Did they have that? Did they have the X Men? Is that another one? I didn't. They had the X Men and they had TMNT. Awesome. Um, and the Simpsons one. Oh, nice! Um, Oh, dude, we got to go there and we have to beat it. And then they also had Gauntlet. Right? Uh-huh. Is that the game that we've talked about before? Gauntlet? They had that one, which I really wanted to play that. Green Gesture um, needs food badly. Honestly, we played, the majority of the time, we played Minecraft Dungeons Arcade. <laughs> 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 it was that and pod racing. So. I mean, worth it. So worth it. The Minecraft Dungeons Arcade is actually pretty fun. Like, it's a it's a nice, big, like, crisp bright screen that you're playing on it's not that's bad. really nice and the card thing is kind of interesting do they have any good um but any good shooters like time crisis or the uh you know what they didn't have any shooters really that was the one thing they did not have the shooters yeah i thought that was interesting also it's very much so more geared old school yeah. than it is hmm. like the uh, yeah i saw on the website like one house of dead or something you know just the website the... has like a lot of pinball games and stuff too like very much there wasn't a ton of pinball. I mean, there was like five, I think. Okay. But maybe that is a well, ton. Well, the like, website we said it had like a too. whole room dedicated to like pinball and pool and air hockey. Oh, yes. There is a separate like gaming, like board game room that you can rent out, which I also want to do that because it sounds really cool. Yeah. Because your drinks co- uh, count towards the cost of the room. So as long as people order enough drinks and food, the room's free. Oh, well, that's where um, we're doing our next, our D&D. That's the, and that's where it has to be, because <laughs> everybody's gonna be ordering drinks while we're doing that, <laughs> right? That's awesome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What, what, no, it was a real cool spot. What's the um, what, Legends Arcade in Olympia? Th- all right. If you guys ever want to check it out, I, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna ask what the name of it was. There, <laughs> I know. Yep. Yeah, you did. Put the plug out there. Uh, you just reached down my throat and just like they have a, and they have a nice selection of beer. Really? Like it's really good selection of like local like, uh, Wild Man P and W. I didn't look at Wild Man. I just saw Vice, and then it was over for me because <laughs> there's not very many places that have Vice. So I don't know if I've had anything from Vice, actually. I want us to take a trip down to Vice because they have some of the most memorable uh, beer names. Ever. They're the ones that had the, the, the winter ones that you missed, right? Um, I don't you know. You named them off, and they sounded, like, really good. But they were, like, they're, they're like I? their selection of, like— Star it had like a Star Wars themed thing or something like that. It was a themed. Maybe. I mean, it was a like 10, I don't 10, 15, this. 20 episodes ago. So it's back there a ways. Maybe Felix will they have the... know. You, you probably know. <laughs> is they have the Breakfast Club Felix Mimosa Sour. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he is. The archivist. <laughs> um, the Unusual Suspects uh, IPA. Mm-hmm. And then there was one that they just came out with that was a malt liquor. Ooh, that's how and I really want to remember the name of it. Oh, what was it? Malty boys. It had something with post Malone inside of it. <laughs> post Malone. It was. It, I've never seen a brewery come out with a malt liquor before, but it was so post great. malt loan. I'll have to find it. I'll find it some sometime. Ooh, this not getting any younger California style triple IPA. Ooh. So I uh, took a shower for the show because I I need to do. Uh, and I put my play random music on. Second mm-hmm. song in the list. Love frustration. Shout out to old nice. Spud. 
great, great shower song. Started with some hardcore. Nice. A hardcore song from the Royals and then right to Spud. And... Uh, it was an old, uh, it was an old Royals song. It was a good one. You're, you're genre jumping though. I, Don't genre jump. No, it was my shower. I just pushed shuffle on my shower mix. I just. Don't press shuffle. Stick with a playlist. I like to, no, my, <laughs> my shower playlist is uh, Sakuda and then Skyrim's Atmosphere. <laughs> So it's an hour of awesomeness, and I sit there and I let the water hit me and flow over my body, and I just listen to Skyrim. You take sounds. an hour long shower sometimes. Why? Do, why is your shower an hour long? Well, not an hour. I mean, your poor skin because of water. Because I had I live with two girls that take showers, and we have some, they have like hot showers, like real hot showers. So, and so what does that mean? For Which means I have little, have I have you? little water, so I have to ration my hot water, so it you slowly gets hotter first. and hotter as I go. <laughs> you should shower first. But, but I can't. I'm I'm a nice guy. I beat them to it. That'll show. Nah, I just sit with my arm up. You take all the hot water first. They'll never do it See, again. But if I sit up next to them, like with my arm up or something like that, and then be like, Ooh. like, hey, I <laughs> go ahead. You, I'd let you do it. Go ahead. You go shower first. No, go ahead, please. <laughs> I remember when I was when I was a teenager, uh, you know, when you're smelling real right. <laughs> Didn't like winter deodorant, or forgot to at least this one day. And we, and we had a, a car full of people. Nice summer, hot, hot summer day. We're driving down the road, and I had my hand arm out the window. And I had my hand, <laughs> hand over the driver's pat, uh, seat like that. <laughs> my friend who was driving, she's kind of looking around. God, what is that? <laughs> the wind was just blowing straight through my arms. Oh. Just... <laughs> that's disgusting oh that's fun just We're siphoned it right into her nose mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yep. so I, I lost I, my keys I, uh on sorry on, on sunday on oh, sunday no okay. saturday saturday you lost, I lost, lost my keys. Keys. I lost my keys on saturday um after a fun evening on friday but I knew did, did they were you home. Find them? I did eventually. Um, I I looked for them from probably ten thirty till about six. I uh, looked I tore the studio apart. Uh, I cleaned up my whole bedroom. I searched my car about eight times. I searched all around my car, anywhere I walked. Got super frustrated, so I decided to set, stop and play some games. Got got a couple dubs in in uh, in, in some some Warzone, and then I went and still was frustrated. So I went and did my dishes. And when I moved the dishwasher, guess what I found? My keys. I I must have either chucked them on it really hard, or I dropped them and kicked them, but they were right there. Whole time. They're, All they're day. under the dishwasher? They're literally on the edge. If I would have stopped where like in <laughs> our living room and just looked in the kitchen, I would have seen them. <sighs> yeah. Well at least you got some dubs. My favorite part of this <laughs> Yeah, my favorite part of the story was where <laughs> he was so frustrated. He was like, I need a mental health yep. break of playing some war yep. zone. <laughs> He's like, I need to go murder some noobs, take out my frustration. And apparently wasn't that frustrating to him because he was able to <laughs> play video games. No, that makes me good. Makes me good. <laughs> Brings out the anger. No, I'm super focused. I'm you, do you have my keys? Do you have my keys? <laughs> Most of the time when I lose my keys, they're in a very specific place that I put them the day before or, you know, two days before on Friday. Um, and so I will have to retrace my steps through the weekend to know where I did end up putting them. And so I will have to actually walk out of my house and walk back through my door so that I can retrace what I ended up doing that day. Because I can remember what I did. Mm -hmm. And then I just follow my, I follow my footsteps and I find them. That's what I did. Every time. Didn't find him. You just did it wrong. You I did guess, it wrong. I apparently. guess so. I, I guess I. I guess I did. There was too much chance on yours because <laughs> you were chucking things. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I've ever actually lost my keys. Oh, all time, dude. All time. I think you're too OCD to lose your keys. I think I'm. I'm too not ADHD to lose my keys. No, you're too. OCD. 
You're the dude that looks at your no can OCD. every time you take a drink out of it, even though you know it's your can and you're the only one in the car. You have to look at it. Because I'm admiring it. <laughs> is that justification? Is that the step he's at? No. Yeah. I don't, I've never lost my keys, but I have had to find keys a lot because my wife loses them constantly. She's also locked them in our car like three times. Somehow. Oh, freaking did that yeah. the other oh, day I too. I've done that. A I've time. never understood how that can even happen. Yeah, d- did that the other night after work. Uh, had to spend a good forty-five minutes with a coat mm-hmm. hanger. Thank God they had one in at, at uh, the mill in the closet, reefing it open uh, with another plastic coat hanger. Got it eventually, but uh, yeah, I've had fun with keys this last week. Nope. I did that two weeks ago at the gym. I left locked my keys inside of it and i was i parked right in front of the gym and so like everybody could see me and i'm like nope i'm not gonna end i'm not actually gonna dig through my door trying to end up opening this with this rod i found in my my uh toolbox i'm going to call a locksmith and i will pay 80 dollars to have him come open it for yep. me why don't you just call non-emergency yeah. call a cop non-emergency yeah, call, non- call a yeah. cop to come open yeah, it they'll come open it for you they got the they got a slim gym and they have wedges and stuff they'll come and pop it open for you I, they're not going to do that here, man. Yeah, I've had them. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. a thing? Because I've run, had to pay a locksmith three times. If you run out of gas, too, you can call non-emergency line, and you can say, hey, you ran out of gas. You're on the side, you're on the side of the highway. Can I get – I need somebody out here I mean, to get to a gas station, and then they will send an officer out there. So why gas. do people pay for AAA, then? Because they're scared because, to call the police? No, because, tri- <laughs> because AAA will tow you. AAA will tow you for, like, a couple hundred miles. I've, we've had to use that. Oh. Like, and if your car breaks down anywhere, like they'll tow you, and you get like three or four tows a year, and they're countrywide. Okay. I mean, cops. Gotcha. Cops in Washington are nice, at least in our area. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, at least in my Olympia area, a little bit at bigger. Area, at least <laughs> Olympia is a little bit bigger than Raymond, man. I don't know. We got a lot of other issues going on. I feel like I, I don't feel the like cops the cops are just bored or something, so they'll they'll come open your door for you, Raymond. They're like. Hey, you want to go help this guy open his car? <laughs> it's funny though. So I, yeah. I mean, I could just actually call Arlie. I like, I have his number. I could call Arlie and say, Arlie. Hey, "Hey, Arlie, could you come help me, please?" Arlie, the <laughs> single cop in Raymond. You know, it's really yeah, funny no, too. This is a Raymond thing. Uh, last, uh, Arlie Boggs, great officer, shirt tail relative. I don't know what that means. Which means I'm related down the line. You related down the? That's what a shirt tail relative means. Yeah. Is like it they're, you're like they're on di- shirt tails. You're a distant relative. I thought that was, yeah. It's not coat tails. Is it definitely shirt tails? Shirt, shirt, coat, whatever. I don't think a shirt tail is a thing. It's a coat tails. God. No, coats I, have, de- coats I, I, I definitely tails. know that there are shirts that have tails. No. Yeah. Shirts don't have tails. I think it's coat tail. Shirts man. get tucked into your pants. You don't have shirt tails. If you have shirt tails, you're un you're uncapped. Yeah, shirt tails. Coats have tails. Shirt, shirt tail. It's shirt tail. I'm pretty yeah, sure it's no, coat tail. I don't you think shirt tails. You can shirt tail shut your mouth. <laughs> shirt tail's not a thing at all. Uh, you know what? He might be right about this. What? He might be right about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shirt tail is somebody who is a relative by marriage or is only distantly related, such as a fourth cousin, or is a family friend with honorary status as a relative. Whereas a coattail relative <laughs> is uh Somebody, oh no, this isn't a real thing actually. Never mind. <laughs> Interesting. It's vaguely associated. Oh, as a coattail riding relative. I don't. Which is I different. don't think. I don't know what that means. Okay, so shirt tail relative though. So shirt tails. That that word though is specifically used in that phrase. Like shirt tails, Correct. not a thing by itself. Uh, I'm pretty sure shirt tails is a thing. Actually. Is it? I've never heard that before. I mean, it's in in the old days. In the old days. They had shirt tails. I guess, shirt okay, tails? so this just says that they the part of the shirt that reaches below the waist in the back is called a shirt tail, even though you tuck it in and no one sees it. So yep. it's, it's just called it that. Is the, we all it have is shirt the tails. furthest that's, that's away from you, though. It's the first, like. Yeah, distantly yeah. and indefinitely related. Yeah, so I'm related, but. Mm. Or something small and inadequate is also called a shirt tail. <laughs> something swall, small and inadequate. Small or inadequate. Or something that's very young or immature. Hmm. Oh, well, Calvin, you know something that's a shirt tail. Small and insecure. 
I was just gonna say inadequate, but that's mm. beside the point. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> I get the insecure part. Hey, Mick, yeah? Calvin seems to think that he's five ten. That's not right, right? He's definitely not two inches away from six foot. We've right? actually I'm, measured it. I'm I know how tall I am. You're five ten. Okay, well, you, I I'm not sure I buy that one either. <laughs> I think Devin's projecting. I just, went, I just went and got things done. I'm five ten. Devin's just so short that you can't tell how tall people are. I don't think you guys are actually five. We're five ten, dude. I don't buy that. Uh, you both are. You both are kind of short. How kings, do we prove this? You know what I mean, I, mean, I am a short five ten. I, I am definitely the shortest of the of the kings. I think like, that you guys are definitely short kings. Since too. you can't see the top of our heads, you actually don't know how tall we are. I know you're not five ten. I am. That would mean that you were two inches away from six foot, and you are not. I am. You are at least three to four inches away from six foot, my my guy. Dude, yes. I'm five ten. We can measure it. <laughs> what? wonky tape measure are you using to measure yourself standard man? grade i don't i don't think it's i mean real. if, I don't think it's if right. anything you if one. anything i'm like i'm five nine and three quarters if anything you are a solid five nine to five eight no yeah you are oh, you yeah. are incorrect big time how much you how, you how much money do you want to put on heavy this heavy five eight how much money do you want to put right on this Devin? <laughs> no money i just oh i think because i know i know how tall i am did you measure? Hmm? Did you measure with your hair? Is that what's going on? No, because the hair does have a little bit of lift for you. No. It does. It adds a little quarter inch. No, I've I've measured many times. I think I owe you a I'm dollar, just, Devin. I don't buy it. A I dollar? So. Why do you owe Devin a dollar? Because the Eagles lost. Mm. I, <laughs> I think I owe you a dollar. I don't remember us. I don't remember even what it was. No. I because we made our Super Bowl prediction before. It was, it was for a bit. Okay, and... it wasn't real. <laughs> no, I owe you a dollar. I would. I was. I owe you a dollar, right. man. I'll take it. Hey, that I'll was our. It, we we made a prediction, and that prediction was wrong, or I made my prediction was wrong. It was looking promising there for a bit too. I was even like, "Oh, he gonna give me a dollar," and then I forgot about it. I actually I didn't watch it, so I really didn't know what was going on. So yeah, I mean, it was a long time ago, anyways. You know. Oh my gosh, I just meant to tell you another vice beer name. It is uh, Shaquille Oatmeal, which is an oatmeal stout. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a that's, that's a pretty, pretty that's a pretty great one. Yeah. Right, hey, uh, did you guys see that we were uh, had our little our voices on a different podcast for a good minute did or we? so? Yeah. What podcast? We had our voices on the Wired and Weird podcast. Oh Have wow! You guys ever heard that one? I. Haven't. I've heard of them. Okay, well, if you haven't, you can hear it now. Hey, Steve. Yo, Jeremiah. Uh, I think it, I think we're doing an ad. Uh, is that what we're doing here? <laughs> we're doing an ad. Uh, I think for Wired and Weird, our podcast. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's a fun time. If you guys don't know Wired and Weird, you got to check it out. We do Would You Rather's. Tell lots of corny dad jokes. We we catch up. I'm gone. I'm busy. I do stand up comedy. We're we're gone. We All talk stand up comedy. So yeah. I talk about being on the road, doing shows, telling lots of stories about just life and what we see, and and we also talk a lot of sandos. We talk sandwiches so, constantly. You might get hungry I'm if sorry. you guys if you guys love silly jokes. If you guys love sandwiches and buddies catching up and silliness in general, check us out. Check well, that's out what we're here for. Check out Wired and Weird. Yeah. What, what the hell else Why are not? you doing? Yeah. Anyway, we love you. Love you guys. We are sponsored by Dubby Energy. Head over to dubby.gg and use the code BPM at checkout to get ten percent off. Again, that's BPM at checkout to get 10% off your order. Dubby, wage war on big energy. This beer is delicious. I like I like having a lower tolerance. It's nice. I'm only a third through this beer, and it's great. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I just noticed I have, like, almost a black eye, I think. I was kind of looking at your eye, too. Again? I was like, what'd you do? Yeah, did you punch yourself or something? No. I did think, you lip off to Jennifer? I think that's uh, when I was throwing up. I think I might have ruptured a blood vessel in my face. 
Oh, wow. Ooh. I knew a lady who coughed real hard. She turned her head to cough, you know, just one big, uh, and she broke like four ribs. Dang. That's happened before. Yep. Which makes you really scared sometimes when I cough. I'm like, oh, God, no. Ooh. Don't break it. Don't break it. Just make sure that you have to cough real violently to end up breaking. Just make sure you always cough in like or have fragile. You cough in the right (laughs) posture is the thing. Make sure you're coughing in the right posture. You don't want to stress your whole body when you're at a weird angle. When you know you're about to cough, get into your coughing posture. Mm -hmm. Coughing (laughs) position. Prepare yourself for the incoming (laughs) posture. Calvin, the the coughing posture. Posture. What is it? Um, What is the proper posture? Is it on your hands and knees, kind of back arched a little bit? No, it's it's mainly up. about uh, the mouth agape. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> ma- <laughs> no, so you look like a baby bird. Back arched inward, inward back arched. No. Hands and knees. <laughs> it's kind of like butt out a little bit, and you know you have a mouth open. Wow. I feel like that would actually that, hurt that, a lot if you did that. You would think that it would help. No, that would right? hurt. It would kind of support your not. lower back a little bit more, no. which is where you you really feel the cough. Like no. you're you're coughing like an artillery. <laughs> no. <laughs> See what distance you can get. The air that. really just like don't just like don't follow any of this advice. This is horrible advice to cough. Do not hold in your farts, you will, though, people. You will injure yourself. Let those suckers fly, please. Disagree. Once again, no, disagree. No, 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 no. Scientifically, medically, they when you hold them in. They come up and they come out as burps. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so, socially though, hold them in, no, please. No, no, no. Let, no. <laughs> Fart. Crop dust, dude. Fart crop everywhere. One hundred percent. Fart on everything no, and everybody. Do you know where the best? Nope. Do you know where the best place to fart? Wrong fart answer. Is? Devin's house. Away from other people. Concert. That is not the answer that, that is either. The best, no. That is the best place because do you know how many other you are disgusting, nasty both of you. smells? I ain't gonna. If I'm gonna go see a three-hour concert, I ain't gonna oh. hold in a fart. With all these sweaty teenagers. Yeah, you are like a man. No, sweaty teenagers around me can, no. can deal with my rancid farts that I have if I have You something. need to stop being around sweaty teenagers. I like so I like to the real I like to try to make the fart as loud like, as possible like a man. That is disgusting. I don't do that. I don't do, that is absolutely disgusting. I, I, don't, I want I, everyone to hear it and then I can wink at everybody. I, I do the Nick Kroll where you just kinda of pull the cheeks apart and just kinda of do that. <laughs> Ugh. Those are fun unless it's a no. little loose and then, then you just kinda of like like gleeking almost wrong answers those are all wrong answers are they wrong do you, do you have yep. something we can you, give you... A, a non-wrong wrong answer to like a would you rather oh boy do i <laughs> Ew, you. okay would you rather um I, we might have done this one um have a checklist we really should have a checklist. Hey, Felix, can you go through and find out which ones we've done and then give us a checklist? What, and, what um, is it? Have we could use either Google Docs or uh, Excel. That'd be great. Just tell me what it is. Would you rather uh, always get 10 things uh, unneeded at the store or always forget one important thing at the store? I feel like I already do both of those things simultaneously. So simultaneously, <laughs> oof. I'd rather always forget something than to have things you really don't need. Yeah, like things that like you don't actually use that will go to yeah waste ten things that you got. Yeah, no, yeah, I would go broke every time I went to the store. No, I'm gonna... oh, no, wait, sorry, wait. I I misunderstood what you said. Is, is it, it ten okay. things? I would rather forget use, something, or is it just you don't need okay. at that time? Like you go in specifically for pork, but you're coming out with like seven bags of chips and like uh, <coughs> some reason you grab dragon fruit. Yeah, it's it's exactly. it's things yeah. that you don't need. Like doesn't mean, you it doesn't mean you're going to use it. Snacks or um because I what mean, if you just grab all this it, random crap? Well, now I got to do something with it, or else it's well, it's yeah, because like well, there has to be a con to it. You know, the con is that you now are eating seven bags of chips and three dragon fruits. Right? Like, yeah, which sucks. that's not it's not a good option. Well, yeah, it's and not, it's, it's, it's also waste, every time you go to the store. Like if you just go to the store to buy milk and bread, you're gonna come out with milk, bread, and ten other things. So I'm gonna. You don't I'd need. rather forget the milk or bread. I'm gonna Calvin. Them I would rather. Them. I would rather forget the milk. And then call my wife and be like, "Hey, what did I? What do I need at the store again?" And then get the milk. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna Calvin this. I will only exclusively oh use DoorDash or Instacart. So you're just gonna invalidate both options. <laughs> yep, Instacart. There you go. Your personal shopper will forget something. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> they do that anyways. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Ha, it'll cancel it out. They'll for, they'll remember. Uh no, I'd probably do the forget too, actually. Yeah. Actually, same. no. <laughs> you don't need those ten extra things, man. And it's every single time. That's a lot of stuff yeah, that's gonna pile that up. Mean, you think about You can only but, buy ten so, bags of chips so many times. Right. So you But does it hmm, it's random. Yeah, I guess I'd have, yeah, yeah. It's too many things. Right. Yeah, it's too many things. It is. It is. If it was like forget Starts one thing or or buy brain. buy one extra thing, then maybe I'd do the buy one extra because I could always well, anybody you know, would do that. Grab one extra thing, but there has to be a con here. Yeah, but it'd be like you forget one important thing. Yeah, it'd be like if you were making like burgers and you forget ground beef mm -hmm. like that's what it would end up being mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you have everything but so normal yeah. <laughs> like, like when we go to the store normally all right um would you rather so okay so this one's a little bit you have to like listen would you rather take a pill every day for your nutrients and you feel very like you feel full and satisfied from it uh but you never get to actually eat anything again like no food or you can eat whatever you want, but you will never feel full. Definitely the pill. You don't get to eat anything ever again. You don't pill. get to enjoy food, textures, tastes. Yep. None of it. Yep, 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 yep. The pill. So you don't actually like food. I do, but being hungry all the time is a torture. <laughs> That's literally Pirates of the Caribbean, dude. <laughs> That's the all of the the pirates that were cursed to never be full. It's true. That was a curse. So I'm gonna take a pill to be eternally satiated, and never you eat food never again. Never get to experience the joy of food. I mean, they're both cons, but I'm gonna choose the lesser evil. I don't think that's a lesser. I think evil, it's a man. lesser evil. I think being hungry permanently is a curse. It's horrible. Yeah, it kind of sucks being hungry. Doesn't matter if you can eat. That I mean, means ask the any, food will... anybody in the Pacific Northwest. Like, how is I don't think it necessarily time? means you're hungry. You'll never be full. Food will stop. You're never. Food will stop having a meaning if you're never satiated. No, is the well, thing. So you will. will it, you, yes, you will. You You'll will enjoy learn, the taste of it. You will learn to loathe food if you're never full. I don't think so. I think it depends on the thing. Because like, getting full is like, oh, I am satisfied. So basically, you will never be satisfied. So not that you'll always be. You won't be always hungry. You'll be. You just will be satisfied. That's what I read into it, yeah. Because, you know, like, you had a good steak. You're like, oh, that was, a, that was great. I'm full. I'm, it's enough. I'm like, mm. Not full is hungry. No. Is it, though? Yes. Mm -mm. There's no in between. Because when you eat till you're full, you're actually overeating. It depends on how you quick you're eating. You eat till you're eating. satisfied. Nope. That's how quick you're eating. Nope. It's you eat till you're satisfied, not... Till, you, till you're full because once you as soon as you're you're full and you feel like your stomach I don't know. is done to me like, full and satisfied are the same thing nah, I don't, they're not semantics, the same thing as semantics. overeating but where are we where are we at where are we i'm gonna this? go with the pill i'm, I'm, I'm going the other gonna way fit, do the yeah mm -hmm. never feel full dude. i don't think i can give up the like the tastes and textures of food I, at all. no like, dude they're, they're, I wanted something salty yeah. last night, so I made myself some stovetop popcorn because I couldn't find right? anything else. I'm like, I have this bag of popcorn that I have to actually do something sure. with. But I will. Calvin, you will crave I won't flavors. have you any crave cravings. Them. I'll be satiated. That's what the pill gives me. No, it doesn't mean that you don't crave a certain Read it again. Sensation. Read it again. You'll feel full, I'll feel but full. It does, you will crave I sensations. don't have cravings. No, no, it does not say you won't have cravings. I don't have cravings it says already. You will, you, will, you, will, you will want have like. You never, there's never like a specific type of food that you want because you're like, no. oh, this sounds really good right now. No, really, yeah, it's all the same. If food. I'm hungry, it's all generic. If I'm hungry, food. I'll think <laughs> about what I like now, to listen, eat and listen. I'll get one of those things. If I'm have, not hungry, I don't think about food. Have you ever been like, you just finished a meal, like the greatest meal at a restaurant, like in Seattle or something, real good? You walk outside and you smell like couple blocks down this like amazing thai place or indonesian place and there's something you've never smelled before and just, oh it smells delicious you've never wanted to be what? like oh even though i'm completely full and stuffed like i i still have a bite i still eat it you give it when i was in japan that happened a lot actually specifically in japan i think it's because the food there is better than over here 
over here when I'm full, I don't, I, food makes me not, I don't want food anymore. Okay. So that in feeling, Japan, though, in Japan, Jennifer. there was, I, I don't know if it was maybe because the, stop making those crappy meals. It makes them want more. Maybe it's because the portions were a little bit smaller or something, or the food was just better for you or something. I always felt like I could go have something else afterwards. Okay. Um, but maybe but it's just because I was that, never though, all the way full. So, mm, no, I don't think so. I think it's because it's it's that feeling of you want like this, even though you're full completely. This I I can still eat that. Like, I don't think I was full completely. Is the thing you? But you were okay. You were satisfied. You were satisfied. Sure. So that's what we're saying. That's, but it was the, new. It was the, new food also. Okay, but, but that feeling of satisfied. But then sure. you smell something like that and be like, oh man. Oh, it smells delicious, but now. But I don't live in salad. Japan. Right, I'm saying you'll, sm but you won't be able to eat food. You won't be able to have these things, so something I will won't smell need delicious. Any food. I'll be full. Doesn't mean you're not gonna enjoy. Your senses aren't gonna get overloaded by the smells. If I'm full, I don't think about food. The right, uh, the so food will smell good, but and I, I'm, yeah, we're two, going the way. two never fulls. Yep. You guys are crazy. All right, you want one more? Yeah, let's do it. Would you rather always have that annoying song stuck in your head or always have an itch that you can never reach? The song. Really? Mm hmm We get to choose the song for you, though. That's fine. Tough Thumping. Oh, that, okay. oh, come on. That's a good song. Come on. That's not a song that you want and repeat in your head. Listen okay, give me a better one than Nick. I get that's knocked it. down, yeah. but um, I get up again. What's, what's, you ain't what's, never gonna get. I just, I'll just do that and repeat my entire life. I don't care. Look at this photograph. Oh, no, that one's not repetitive enough. You need something that's repetitive. I have no Ooh. issues with songs uh, in my head. We do the Tiny Tim. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, he doesn't. He likes it. What, too okay, much. what what don't you like? What what's like the, your least favorite song? Like that? I'm not telling you. No, no, because that's what it'd be. That that's what it would have to be. It would be. No, it was it was whatever you guys pick. <laughs> what's no, the uh, so what's the... okay? So then, you know, whatever we pick, then so then it would be what it would be whatever like is the the thing you like. Oh God, why why am I thinking of this song? Like that. I don't like, have like, that happen. Have you, have you ever woke up with a song in your head? And yeah. Like. But it's like, why, why the hell am I thinking of this song? Why, I don't even want to think of this song. And then you just nope. find yourself thinking about it later. I enjoy all the songs I think about. I think this shows like the spectrum of this podcast. As well. Okay. <laughs> what if it's a part of Freak on a Leash? <laughs> where he just does the sounds over and over again. Oh, I don't know what that Come is. Come on. I don't know that's what that is. That's the best part. That's right before the... That's Calvin, like, Calvin. Right down. Calvin. I'm gonna... I'll do it for you. Okay, send it. To you send it to me. It's... I can do it. No, 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 it's. How do you send a, vi a YouTube video of a specific time? Uh, um, <sighs> you you go to the time and then you. Oh, copy video URL at current time. Yeah. Got it. Okay, here it is. Dropping it in chat. It's the best part. And okay, listen to this. Oh my gosh, this this part over and over again. <laughs> I can already hear it though. Yeah, that's like the most famous part of the song already. That's fine. I'm but fine but that. only that though. You're fine with that. I'm fine with only that. that. It does. It doesn't get past. It doesn't get yeah. past like to where it starts to like build up either. Just boom. That's my. Yeah, that's my favorite that part section. of the song already. So. Oh my god. That's my karaoke song, guys. No, it's not. Please stop, <laughs> dude. I can do it, and I do the screams and everything. Please don't. Please don't do that at karaoke. I actually. will do that at karaoke. Stop. Me. Nobody wants that at karaoke. Everybody wants that at karaoke. <laughs> I also uh, do um, No One Knows. Bye. Uh, Queen of Stone Age. Queen of Stone Age. Yep. 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 Really? That's what you... like. I would. It wouldn't get annoying though. I know that for me that would no. be annoying. But. Hmm. I don't think I could do song. I would do the song. I, we have um, to ask his cousin. I would do it. We have to ask his cousin. <laughs> this is so family. There? This. Uh, is your cousin I think there? She's here somewhere. Can she hop on the podcast real quick? Can we call her? <laughs> yeah. Do you have her number? Can you send her the link? We call her. Can we just send her the link? Yeah, send her the link real quick. Oh. Her... Yeah. Pull her in here. How do we do Pull that? Pull her in real fast. Hit the share button. No. 
No, 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 no. Where's the... please, please stand by while we. Can uh... you add somebody mid recording even? Yeah, yeah. Mick, just, how do you do this? You, you go ahead and. Oh, we just have to send send her yeah, the send link. The send the URL. Send the link. Send the link. Again. Yeah. <clears throat> hurry, 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 hurry. Stand hurry, by hurry. while we her? are integrating another guest into the podcast. You don't have to stand by at all. Just keep talking. <laughs> well, no. <we're> just... <laughs> What's wrong with you? Here. We we could we could. How you like um, yellow? What um what songs oh, super good. what songs do you guys hate? Um um I hate Tattoo actually. I really don't care for Tattoo. Tattoo? Mm-hmm. All things she said, all things she said, run it through my head, run it through my head, run it through my head. These two Russian girls. I've never heard that song. I'm sure you haven't. It's before your time. That's literally know. the name of it. Is all the things she said. The Macarena is pretty annoying for me. Aww. Hey, Macarena. All right. No, I can do that. Who let the dogs out? I don't like that. That's the thing. Is what you really? what you described as like waking up in the morning with a song in your head. That already happens to me all the time, and I have no problem with it. I just sing the song all day. Sing it doesn't song. matter. Oh, day. Oh, you flicked it in that chat. Oh, I. I Oh, we have a chat. Oh, we have a chat. Yeah, here. Riverside does have a chat. Yeah, we do have a chat here. Um, the Whip and Nene song. Don't like that. Watch Friday, me whip. Rebecca Black. Watch me don't Nene. Like that. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Those ones get stuck in my head. A Friday, ton. Friday. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> we just showed my daughter Crazy Frog. Oh God, I, oh, I love I Crazy did. Frog. No, I hated it. So I love much. Crazy Frog. Oh, that's, that's you know what? That's it. You're actually just kind of an annoying person, then, Calvin. That's why you like this. Crazy Frog was my You're jam. Just Crazy that was my frog. jam back in the day. Crazy Frog, <laughs> bang and bang, a bag of them, just a bag of them. I love it. Everybody can fill in the blanks of what I said there beforehand. Hey guys. Hey, hey. how's it going? I feel like I'm dying. Oh, I'm sorry. How many times have you barfed today? Today, um, the last time I threw up was at like five thirty. Ooh, so, so pretty okay, yeah, no, Here but come. I I was seriously up like every hour, hour and a half last night throwing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Very credit. Glad you're at Calvin's but, house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually ended up staying the night out with a friend down at Chehalis. Oh, because I was I was down there. And started throwing up, and I was like, mm, I'm not gonna drive home. Can I just stay here? <laughs> so, what was it we wanted to ask her? Um, okay, so you are probably our resident Calvin expert. Um, okay, yeah, but apparently, <laughs> a song. apparently, these guys don't know me at all, even have like no, we do, but me. just not, not as intimately as perhaps Maya would. Um, what is I'm a song now. that would annoy Calvin? Like, is there a song that would annoy him immensely? Oh. Like, what's what? You, there's a song that Calvin oh. does not like so supremely that it would annoy him if he heard it every day, like forever. I don't know. In his head. And the first thing that pops into my head is you could probably pick any Taylor Swift song and just play it on repeat. I think. Oh. I think that would work. We didn't think about T Swift. Okay. T Swift. I just know. I, I just know I listen to Taylor Swift all the time, and after, like, four songs, my boyfriend's like, okay, can we change it now? <laughs> well, I mean, I like Taylor Swift, so there's nothing wrong with that, but does Calvin yeah, no. specifically hate Taylor Swift? Calvin? I don't do you know. Want to speak to that? How do you feel about Taylor Swift? I think she's annoying as a person. Oh, okay. Oh. So it means you, you don't I don't like, like her, her character. Then. What about the Shake It Off song? Does that, how does I that feel like that. <laughs> That's pretty annoying, right? I feel like most people are annoyed by that song. <laughs> the only thing that makes it okay is uh, Sing. The movie? Sing, yeah. The movie? Yeah, because, I think that makes it worse. Because that's the version that I heard it of. I, didn't oh, hear it. I think it's good in that movie. I like that movie. It was a good movie. Teardrops on my guitar is probably the most annoying. <laughs> you think that song, one's annoying? No, that one's so I good, hate that though. song so freaking much. <laughs> I would li- rather listen to our song over and over again than ever listen to Teardrops on My Guitar. You have more T-Swift knowledge than I do. 
I'm looking Wait. at a list of songs right now, oh. okay? Yeah, but, <laughs> don't, but no, he's just okay. he's just a con you know them from memory. He like. loves T Swizzle. You know the song, my heart. <laughs> T Swizzle is like number one on his playlist right now, actually. You belong with me is pretty annoying. Calvin, what? If you had to hear uh It's a love No, is that one's too, that one's too catchy. <sighs> I want you to sing for me more, Devin. It's a good one. No. How about just be a bad Bear one. Toss? Is that his name? Any other any other avenues that we could try to explore an annoying song, Maya? Do you have any other like insight? Um, I don't we, know. I was gonna. I think you could pick a few children's songs and put them on repeat and drive anyone mad. Yeah, we tried Crazy Frog, but apparently Calvin loves Crazy Frog. Yeah, so no, Crazy we Frog's really... good. <laughs> we... Crazy no, Frog's no. Crazy Frog oh, is the Maya. best. You just dropped it here, Maya. Sorry. How about this? I'm Maybe sorry. this will help. Maya, Maya, no, what Maya, songs annoy okay. you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Maya. Yeah, there's not a lot of a there's bit. not a lot of songs that annoy me. There we go. I don't think. What song do you hate? I mean What, what song do I hate? It drives you just I don't absolutely know. Crazy. What what song that you say you hate but inside you actually do really? <laughs> no, I don't think there's. I don't think I've ever come across a song that I actually like genuinely hate. Honestly, hmm. yeah, like there's there's like songs that I wouldn't listen to, but it playing in my head isn't the same thing as listening to it. Also, like I don't really enjoy a lot of screamo, but the screamo, me thinking of screamo is not going to do anything. Think of you know? like the most annoying thing in like a screamo or like metal song, like pig squeals for me like job for a cowboy no thank you like old job but for a cowboy I like pig squeals oh oh bye, bye maya, maya. We were... she had probably oh thank I've... you for your help hope you're not thrown up hard <laughs> she threw up when she... you started talking about pig squeals <laughs> <laughs> she left immediately how, how great would it have been if we heard <laughs> <laughs> tell maya thank you for us thank please. you maya yep. very much again come back <laughs> Uh, but the, um, like, I think that, like, like that, that's, that's something that would get me would be that it's the early job for a cowboy of just like, for no reason. The I thing is that. though, that's, that's like an auditory thing as well. I don't think it'd have the same effect if it was just playing in your head. Kind of does for like, me though. Like, like the way that Devin gets when we talk about throwing up and like <laughs> the viscosity of the, the mucus and the chunks and everything. I don't have I I don't have that same secondhand like feeling when I'm just thinking about something. Thinking about something doesn't do anything for me. It have to be actually coming in through one of my senses. So that's why I don't think there's a song that you could put in my head in the morning that would really annoy me. I don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm still gonna go with that. Gonna go, gonna go that. All right. <laughs> All right. Devin's already trying. He's, he just thought he about throwing up, he, and he, he did. Yeah. Talked about chunks, <laughs> and it really made me like. It felt, made me feel triggered. I didn't like. See, I don't have that <laughs> feeling. Uh, don't stop. Oh, that doesn't God. happen to me. Episode fifty is gonna be real great, guys. Because um, if you, you know what, we're just gonna wrap it up now. <laughs> with get him him gagging there uh episode 50 is going to be a live stream of this show we're probably all going to be in, actually no not probably we all are going to be in person we probably will be well besides swa no we'll all be in person besides swa we might be no, we'll, we'll all be in person besides swa at least two of us uh, we don't know which two yeah i mean well probably, that okay was unnecessary. swa will be here um so <laughs> i threw myself off but we're gonna do a live show uh, for episode 50 so if you have any ideas of like maybe a game we should play or something fun or uh maybe like a good gross story or something like that let us know we'll we'll get some some things set up how many um, episodes we have till then this will be 44 so we have six so i might i might have a game i could bring i have a game so I don't want your game, Calvin. I already know what we it is. Got, you have no idea what my game is. Well, we only have I okay, do. We, have, we only have an hour for this game. So okay, it's a game that I just discovered today. So see if you yep, can. I know what it is. Oh God. Okay. What is it? You want to bet that I don't know? You want to bet that what I know what it is? What is it, Devin? Uh, one second. It's on your phone. It's a phone game. Do you want to bet that I know what it is? I don't want to bet any money, but I want you to tell bet me. Bet my dollar. One dollar. How about one dollar? Deal. No, you wouldn't bet me about my height. 
<laughs> okay, I'll bet you about your height, but if you bet me about this, deal? The winner of winner one dollar. Winner of this gets the dollar. Just jeez, flexing on me. Just just tell me what the game is. Uh, what's that one? No, it wasn't that one. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Are you lying right now? No, it was the other game made by that same company. Okay, that was pretty dang close. That was close because right? you follow my Kickstarter activity, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I do. <laughs> no, it was the other game made by that company. It's a it's a D and D game actually. Oh. Ooh, look boring. Look That's forward to this the, fun these enough. fun games uh, that are going to be coming up here uh, on episode fifty. Um, but we want to give a big, humongous shout out to Dusty Cubby for letting us use the song Croissant off the album. Fair enough. We also want to give a big shout new out. Drummer. <clears throat> they just got a new drummer, so they're back doing shows. Yes, they are. Dusty Cubby. What is his name? I don't remember his name now. Oh, <laughs> he cut me off for nothing. All right, well. I'm mm. sorry. As he looks up the name of the new drummer for Dusty Cubby, we also would like to thank uh, Dubby for sponsoring us. If you go to w.gg and put anything in your cart, get it, and you get this, like, their awesome shaker and stuff free, I think, right now still, right? I think. Yes, uh, I think so. And get that while it's up there. It's really cool, like, Kind of a... All their tins just got re-updated, so they they have are full in stock with oh, everything right now. Everything, even so, grenade. Yeah, definitely go, even <gasps> grenade. Yep, go Ooh, check them. Right yeah, now. go get it. Go get Those Galaxy go Grenade fast. for that one has been sold out forever. But get all their stuff. Enter the code BPM at checkout. Get ten percent off. Also, go and listen to Wired and Weird. They're two guys that are really funny out of the Pacific Northwest here as well, like us. Jeremiah, Jer Jer Jeremiah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, that, that works. Jeremiah. 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 It's Jeremiah, Jeremiah Hughes and uh, Big Steve. Uh, go check them out. Uh, and Oh, and, and, and Spud Davenport. Might as well give him another shout out, too, since he popped up on my, our list and he's a good friend of the podcast. Uh, drummer for Dusty Cubby is Jarrett LaVar. Jarrett LaVar. All right. Again, Dusty Cubby, new drummer, new shows coming out real soon. We good? Um, I was I had an idea if you guys don't mind sure. real quick for the end of the show. Idea. I was thinking we could end the show. It's kind of like a little shower thought to pose to our listeners to kind of think about. Do you like the idea? Yes. Okay. Um my uh shower thought that I wanted to end the show with is smart TVs won't actually be smart until they increase volume when crunchy food is detected. That's so true. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. You like me more? Beers Per Minute has been presented by Stupid Mythic Forest. New episodes come out on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Don't forget to rate and subscribe so you never miss a thing. Stupid.